Welcome to the second video. We'd like now to have a look at what do we do when we have questions like sine 30 degrees and 30 minutes. Well, that should be degrees there and that's minutes. How do we use the calculator? And how can we do it manually? Well, let's have a look at how we do it manually first, and then I'll show you how to use the Casio calculator. So, first of all, have a look at this 30 minutes. What we can convert this to degrees, and all we have to do is 30 divided by 60, which you can do it on the calculator, is 0.5. And so our problem then becomes 30 plus 0.5 is 30.5. So if we want to work out now sine, uh, excuse me for my terrible handwriting, but I'm using a mouse to write on a whiteboard, so you can imagine it's not the best. So 30.5. So sine. 30.5 sometimes we don't it's good to close the brackets and there's the answer notice the answer point five zero seven and five so let's just leave it at four decimal places how could you do it on a calculator very quickly well you go sign 30, that's the little thing, 30 degrees, 30 minutes, it doesn't show the minutes but that's how it shows it on the calculator, and enter. And you notice the, the answer is the same way, so that's a pretty quick way of doing it, but you have to know how to do that. If you're not sure of using this this particular little button on your uh, calculator or maybe your calculator hasn't got this button then all you have to do is uh, just take the next the 30 minutes divide it by 60 and add that to the degrees so that's how we do it let's have a quick another quick example just to see if we have uh, got the idea so this is um, how to do um, questions uh, such as um, this one here, as you can see there. Now, these questions here, fairly simple. Um, just moving that there. Notice they're all in degrees. So if you have something like that, you don't need to do that. So let's just cancel it. So if we wanted to do sine 13.4, so you go sine 13.4, close the brackets, equal. So that's the answer, 0.2317. Now be very, very careful um, that your calculator is in D, degree mode. Now there's a simple test that you can do just to make sure that it is. And the simple test is, as I write here, to see if your calculator is in the correct mode, just remember sine 30 should be equal to 0.5. So let's have a look. Is this calculator in the correct mode? So sine 30 close it, it's a half there, pressing that, yes it is. Now what would happen if it wasn't in the correct mode? This is where a lot of students fall into a big mistake. Have a look at this, someone's played around with the button and, and notice, where did I do it? Shift, Setup, and we're going to just put 4 there, and now it's in another mode. So if I do sign 30, you should get 0.5, voila, you get something completely different. This happens to a lot of senior students who don't realize that someones uh, they've either pressed the button, they've changed the settings, or it's gone back to default, and it's in radians, that there, it's in radians instead of degrees. Now, how do you set it back? Shift, set, select three, and... Uh, you know now, yeah, it's back in its correct mode, and you can see it there. 
So that, that's how we can do uh, those kind of questions. So coming back, let's have a look at another question. Uh, so we've got, uh, we want to work out sine 70 degrees and 15 minutes. Okay, so the long way. So we can take this, that's the 15 minutes, 15 divided by 60, use your calculator, 15 divided by 60 is uh, 0.25. So this becomes then sine 70 point two five my right is deteriorating isn't it so I just cancel it sine seventy point two five and the answer should be zero point nine four one and two why did we go two because the next number is over five but what about if we did it a shortcut? Well, let's have a look at the shortcut. So we go sine 70 degrees and 15 minutes. Close it. Now, when we do this, we should get that. So let's have a look. And yep, that's what we got. That's correct. So now we know how to do. Uh, different angles if they're in degrees and minutes we can use our calculator or we could do it manually so I hope that explains that in our next lesson we're going to look at uh, how to work out the inverse of our angle but we'll leave it to then thank you very much for listening and we'll leave it there